during this season of Advent and approaching Christmas, I think often of the Diocese of Jerusalem, its people, its clergy, and its bishop, and the relationship that we have with one another, a relationship of companionship and friendship, and one that was signed and sealed during this season on the Feast of the Epiphany. And I simply want to tell you and assure you that throughout the time of our link of friendship, the people and the clergy and I myself in the Diocese of Dublin and Glendalough have been greatly strengthened and greatly enriched by that link of friendship, companionship and partnership. Of course, the last number of months have been cruel, have been sad, have been lonely, have been frustrating. And yet through that time, the Church has continued to offer and to give and to share witness within the Church, of course, but also in the community further afield. And I have every confidence and no doubt that what I say of the people and the clergy of my own diocese holds very strong and very clear for the people of the Diocese of Jerusalem. Now, I've been sharing with or letting people think about just a few words, glory and gratitude and grace, as we enter this time of the magnificence of God's gift to us in his Son, Jesus Christ. Glory takes us who live far away to the shepherd's fields. And we hear and we sing about the glory of the Lord that shines round about them. And St. John speaks of the glory of an only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. In the time of COVID-19, we have seen glory at work, in service and in care of the known and the unknown in these strange and in these weakening times. The second word that I offer is that of gratitude. Gratitude to God and to our fellow human beings for the gift of life and the sustaining of that life, and also for the facilitating of people in their passage, often in searing loneliness from this life to another life. Gratitude also for the self-sacrifice of others, but also of ourselves in these particular times. And that connects me in particular with the gratitude of Mary to God for giving her the gift of carrying God's only Son. And now, of course, we also give gratitude for the gift of science and for those who craft vaccines. But my third word, added to glory and to gratitude, that word is grace. Grace shown by the shepherds to Mary, for example, teaching her how to wrap her precious son so he would in time become an unblemished sacrifice. Grace shown by the innkeeper in making room where there was no room. Grace shown today by everyone who goes the extra mile for those they don't really know and may never have the time to know. Pope Francis, in his most recent publication, Let Us Dream, invites us to close the gap between the call to friendship with God and with our neighbor and care for the environment and perhaps for all of us in the year 2021, as we work our way through and beyond COVID-19, it is this connection of God, of other people, and of our environment 
that is God's invitation of grace to all of us. I wish you from the heart of this diocese of Dublin <coughs> and Glendalough, from one of its parishes, that is Christchurch Taney, a blessed Christmas and a happy new year.